And it's a series that I've been really enjoying, and that is Peacemaker. Uh, yo, James Gunn, in case you haven't uh, been paying attention, has done a spinoff off of the Suicide Squad. You have to make sure you emphasize the <laughs> Suicide Squad with one of the more underrated characters and gave him his own show uh, called Peacemaker. Um, in regular James Gunn fashion, it is very violent and cringeworthy in a lot of different places, but cringeworthy in a way that makes it fun. Is, <laughs> is that a thing? How would you feel? Yeah. How would you feel if I told you they're going to get a season two? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I, I'd welcome it. As long as they keep the same, like one, one of the best intros on any show this year. That, that whole dance number is incredible. If they give us another one like that for season two, I'm all for it. Three, like, you know what? John Cena has been, you know what? Like, he, he's very endearing. <laughs> he's growing on me. Like, he's right. actually, yeah, he's, he's actually quite funny. Like, really funny and, you know, kind of holds a little bit of uh, acting chops and makes you feel for him a little bit. You know, right. I could do without him and his tidy whities all the time, but it's, it's yeah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't need to see your deep print every every other scene, please. I'm, every time I come on, I'm like this when I see. I'm like, come on, man, <laughs> let me be cool. I mean, <laughs> like, it's cool to see, and I'll, you know, it's like, oh, hey, okay, that's that's nice. You know, but that's nice. but it's so fitting for the character. I mean, it makes perfect yeah. sense with the within the realms of the show that that, that he would do that. Um. You know something that, that I did notice, and that is his ability to improv is really incredible. And and I think yeah. that's a tribute to just WWE because they go in there with a very loose script and they just show up and just start screaming at the fans and bashing beer cans yeah. on each other's hands. Um. <laughs> like his comedic timing is actually very, very good. Like I, like out of all of his movies, his comedies have all, I like them more than, him trying to be serious and stuff, you know? Right. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. and, and the show itself is pretty good. Like, um, I don't know her, her name, but the actress that's playing uh, Adebayo, yes. she is great. She yeah. is great. You know? Yeah, I think the only other thing that I remember fun. seeing her was uh, Orange is the New Black. I think that was like the one that like really broke her out on the scene. Um, oh, she was then, in, oh, I, I didn't I didn't watch it, but I, I'll yeah, definitely she, check it out now. Yeah, she she did a pretty, you know, she did a, that and a obviously vigilante. a good enough job. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, vigilante, vigilante. that's my dude. <laughs> Especially <laughs> the last episode, not not this episode yeah. that just came up, but the one before that. I was like, yo, this dude yeah. is on the home team. I'm I'm a huge fan. Yeah. Hey, so there's also some additional news that goes with that Peacemaker, and that is that Peacemaker may not be the only Suicide Squad such a TV series spawned by Guns Imagination. As it was also announced that the filmmaker is developing another spinoff series from the Suicide Squad from HBO Max. However, he didn't go into the details about what character the spinoff would focus on or what it would be about. Only noting, we're working on something else right now, another TV show that's connected to the DC Extended Universe. Out of, out of all those characters that you saw from THE Suicide Squad, <laughs> who would you want to see as a, who would you want to see as a spinoff show? You know what? I mean... I don't know. Idris Alba's character was pretty cool, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. he, he he was cool, but knowing James Gunn, it's going to be someone like completely unexpected. So it's either gonna be the Weasel yep. that was like, <laughs> it's either gonna be the Weasel. I actually really like Polka Dot Man in mm. the movie, mm. but you know we all saw what happened to him. Yeah. But they can do a if they just give us like the daily adventures of King Shark of just him being adorably eating everybody, that would be cool. 